Okay, W1.4, page one. Let me give you a bit of guidance. You can probably figure it out, but just in case. If you notice here, first, I give you scientific notation. This entire table describes lengths. 10 to the minus four meters, 10 to the minus three meters, and so on. What I asked you to do is write the order of magnitude. Of course, there is no coefficient here other than one, so there's no rounding issue. This one is negative four. 10 to the minus three meters will be minus three, 10 to the minus two meters, minus two, and so on. Then I ask you to turn the scientific into standard. You can see here how it's done. However, beware. There's a note down here. You should get, pause the video, not you, pause the video and try this one. Okay, now you're back. What you should have gotten here was point zero zero one. If you did not, then you have to follow the tip. Put a one in front of your 10 to the, write this as one times 10 to the minus three, and then move the decimal three places to make it smaller, and you will get that point zero zero one. The next step, of course, to come up with the prefix. The prefix for 10 to the minus third, if you look it up in your reference table, will be milli. There it is. Okay, let's do the next one just so you see what the non-SI column means. 10 to the minus two meters, the order of magnitude is minus two. Pause again, make sure you can get this. Okay, you should have gotten 0 0.01. And then this is centi, and now non-SI. How many inches is one centimeter? Now, you could be very rough about this. Yes, I know in class we said 2.54 centimeters is one inch. So we can divide one by 2.54, get it, we don't need that. Roughly, roughly, if you have about one inch is about two centimeters, well, then one centimeter is about half an inch, that's fine. Some of you may say a third of an inch. Some of you may say 0 0.4 if you do it more carefully. All fine. Now let's come over to the word bank. This, is actually asking you which approximate length matches the length over here. This is gonna make your head hurt a little bit, but do your best and we'll start to get better at these sort of estimates. So we can pick, for example, the thickness of your pinky. We've done that one before. Your pinky thickness was about one centimeter. One centimeter is 10 to the minus two. Just write a minus two over here. Another one that you may know is the length of a football field. Now that's roughly, depending on where you measure, 100 yards, which is pretty close to 100 meters. 100 is, of course, 10 to the 2 meters, and so you would write 2. You can try this with the rest of them, see what you get. They're all going to be from this table. Now if we scroll down, table 2 is about masses. And it's the same game plan as before. 10 to the minus four, the order of magnitude is minus four. The standard notation, use the tip if you need to, 0 0.0001. We're gonna leave everything in kilograms. And then finally, down here, I'll have you convert to pounds. Now, yes, we had our whole story about the weightlifting and the rest of that, 2.2 pounds for a kilogram, but you're very, it's fine, you can be very rough here and say roughly one kilogram is about two pounds. Add that up here. And so you take your kilogram number, for example, 10 to the zero, which is one kilogram, times two would give you two pounds. Same thing over here with masses as we did before. You can take, for example, the mass of an adult. We talked about our approximate masses in class, ranging from 50 to 100 kilograms. And all of those, five times 10 to the first, up to 10 to the second, all round up to 10 to the second, and so you would put two. Do your best on some of these. I know some of them are going to be difficult. Smaller ones in particular, like a paper clip. But do your best. Last is time, and I think we're okay with this. This is just like the example we did in the notes. Take your one day, convert it into seconds, make it scientific, write the order of magnitude. That is the front of W14, and you should be good to go. Units!